this problem is 1.8 from your textbook it says find the reactive forces and the moment at the wall for the cantilever beam supported as shown in the figure so this end of the beam is cantilever this one right here so for the cantilever support we generally expect one reaction force in the x direction so i'll call this rx and i'll call this ry and since it's cantilever we generally expect one moment also at this now this one right here is a roller support and for the roller we know that it will bring one support only in the y direction now since we have two ry's appearing there i name this one as ry1 and this one as ry2 so again uh, this is a um, static problem hmm. so what we do in these problems is we apply the force valence this will bring us two equations one in x direction one in y direction and similarly moment balance and this will bring us one equation in the z direction so when you apply these equations uh, for x force what do we see we have only this rx force there there is no other force on this member in the x direction so rx has to be equals to 0 then we do this for your y force balance and how many forces we have in y direction we have this r y 1 r y 2 and this 1 kilo newton so r y 1 positive r y 2 positive again has to balance the negative force which is 1 kilo newton now when we look at the moment equation in moment let's take the moment about the point which is inside the wall now your mz moment since it is in the counterclockwise direction we'll take this as negative z now both rx and ry1 since they are passing through that point they will not contribute to the moment now ry2 is applied at a distance of 2.2 meters and it's going to give us a moment following the arrow direction about the cantilever point you can see this is going in the anti-clockwise direction so it's going to be again negative ry2 times 2.2 meters and the third force which is your 1 kN in the y direction about this cantilever point if you follow the force direction it's going to be in the clockwise sense so we can write a positive moment from this one kN force and the distance from here is going to be this one which is 3 meters all of this has to be equals to 0 so now if you look at this system we have got 1 2 and three equations so we have three equations and how many unknowns do we have here we have rx ry1 ry2 and mz so it looks like we have four unknowns and since unknowns are more than the number of equations we cannot solve this And if we cannot solve the system, we call it statically indeterminate system. And that's the final answer because we cannot solve the system. We call this statically indeterminate system.